Hi, I'm Teacher Ellie. I'm a VIP Kid teacher and I use ManyCam in my VIP Kid classroom. Today I am going to be talking more about green screening. My first YouTube video ever was about green screening and I've received a lot of comments about it and I have a lot of people really struggling to get their green screen to work. So I'm just here to share a couple of troubleshooting tips that may help you. I hope. The first thing is a big one. Like, I don't want you to, to talk to me about any problems that you have <laughs> unless you have this first problem accounted for. And that is you need to have a light right behind you shining upwards on the green screen. You have to. Don't, don't put a light like in front of you or next to you shining on the green screen. No. You need a light directly behind you. I don't care how big, well, it needs to have a good amount of light coming out of it, but you need to have a light directly behind you pointed up at the green screen. It's a really big deal. Just do it. <laughs> Just listen to me. It won't make a difference. Try it out and see what happens. It helps. Okay, that's number one. Number two, try to put a little more space between you and the green screen. So I have made the green screen work at six inches before. Um, no, it probably wasn't six inches. It was probably about 10, but it's not easy to do. And um, I wasn't able to put items in front of the camera without my green screen breaking, like turning green again. So if you can get a good two to three feet in front between you and your green screen, that's awesome. I have, I think, I don't know, two and a half feet or so between me and the green screen and that works really well. My um, green screen rarely breaks if I have spent the time in the morning about five minutes to set it up correctly. So yay. Okay. Number three, if you're teaching in a room that has a window in it and you're teaching while the sun is rising, that is going to seriously impact the light in your room. <laughs> so remember green screen is all about light. It's all about light. Like if the color of the green screen is changing because of the way that the light hits it, then the camera is not going to see green anymore. After you've set up the light and the sun comes up, the light's going to change on the green screen, technically changing the color of the green screen for your camera. So you have to account for the window. I do that. I've put, I'm in a room that I can do this in. Someday I'll show you my um, studio. <laughs> I'll have a studio tour for you to see and I'll link to it on this video and it, you'll be so shocked. But in these, in this room, I have tape over my windows. Um, so that works for me. You could use blackout curtains, make sure they're real blackout curtains and not like Walmart, like woven blackout curtains where you can see light through cause that won't work very well. Um, or you could use foam board that you like duct tape together and squish in the window and then take out when you're done. Or you can also use big reflectors. Foam board is going to be your cheapest option, but also the trashiest looking, which I'm okay with. So do whatever feels right. Okay. Number four, I think we're on number four, be aware of the colored casts that you have going on in your room. So if you have like orange colored walls or I don't know, another color, it's going to affect the color of your skin. So if you're getting a weird color in your skin when you use ManyCam, it's probably because of something that's reflecting back on you. In one of my live uh, green screen trainings, there was a girl who had like a gorgeous wood, dark wood door, um, probably, I don't know, six feet in front of her. And because her walls were so white, it was creating this cast in the rest of the room. Uh, so I just told, it, she was looking kind of orange. So I told her to put like a blanket over there and the problem seemed to go away. So just be aware of those things, even things that you're, you don't think can create problems really can. Okay, so quick sum up. Number one, have a light behind you. You may think it's not doing anything. It's a big deal, do it. Number two, make sure that you have a little, as much distance as possible between you and your green screen. Number three, account for the windows. And number four, be aware of color casts. Okay, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Um, take a look at these other links for additional help on your green screen and for using um, the green screen features in ManyCam. And I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching.